So I have a text layer and a shape layer, and I want for the size of the shape layer to be exactly same as the size of my text layer. And I want for the shape layer to be responsive, which means if I change the text, I want for the shape to automatically resize. So naturally, you know, you would select this shape layer, you would go to the timeline here, we have the width and the height, you can easily adjust it in here, but we're going to drive both of them with code. So we're going to start with the width first, alt click on a stopwatch to create an expression here. As you can see, our value is lit up in red, which means that this code is now driving this value. So in here, I'm going to pick whip to the text layer. And now we have a path to this text layer. And I would just use source rect at time to grab the width of that text layer. So we're going to say source rect at time. We're going to grab a property called width. And just like that, when I click away, the width of our shape layer automatically adjusted to the text size, which is exactly what I want. Now I want to do the same thing for the height. So I'm going to copy this code we just wrote. We're going to go to the height of our shape layer. Alt click on a stopwatch to create an expression. And in here, we're going to paste the same code. But this time, we're going to change this from width to height. All right, just like that, everything's working quite well. We have the width and the height of our text layer. So now I can change this text layer to something else like one, two, three four, five, and as you can see, everything's responsive. The shape automatically changes until you do this. Watch this. If I change the scale of my text layer, notice it breaks everything. It doesn't really recognize that. So that's a problem. It only works well when everything's at 100. But when my text layer scale is at something else, then it doesn't work properly. So how do I fix it? Well, you can do it two different ways. One way is to use a tool that I created called Smart Size. And to use it, it's quite simple. Just select the text layer and then click on this button right here to apply it. And just like that, in this text layer effect controls panel, as you can see, we have some properties in here that we can reference. So we have the width and the height in pixel value. So I can go back to the width of the shape layer and basically parent to the width of my smart size and do the same thing for the height. And if I click away, notice everything is working quite well. I can select this text layer, I can adjust it, and it will automatically follow. So that's a quick fix. And I get it, not everyone has smart size. But if you want to learn more about smart size, just go to the top right corner, click on that button, and you can watch a video where I talk about smart size and how useful it is but let me show you how to do the same thing without smart size so i'm going to get rid of smart size and i'm going to get rid of the code we wrote here so next what i'm going to do i'm going to write some code for the width and the height of our shape layer now obviously it's not going to be as quick as using smart size but you'll see the process behind it. So we're gonna to go to the width first, alt click on a stopwatch to create an expression. And in our code here, we're gonna create a variable. We're gonna call it something like target layer and we'll tell it to be our text layer because that's gonna be our target. And then on the next line, we're gonna create another variable. We're gonna call it target size. And basically I wanna grab the size of our target layer and we're going to use source rect at time method to grab the width because uh, we are on the width property here. So on the third line, we're going to create another variable. And this time we're going to grab the target scale. So it's going to be our target layer. And we're going to grab the transform property scale. And we want the value index zero. Here's what's happening. So target scale variable it's like a container it's going to hold our target layer which is the text layer and it's going to go to transform scale value which is scale and value now value has two items we have zero index zero and index one so it's the width and the height scale so we want the width and that's index zero that's really important so that's why i put zero right here so we want the value which is two dimensional and then zero gives us the first item here okay so that's how we arrived at this target scale and then on the next line we're going to marry it all together we're going to open and close parentheses in there we're going to do the following we're going to say target size and we're going to divide it by 100 and then we're going to multiply it by target scale and just like that, when I click away, notice the width will automatically snap to our text here, which is perfect. And then we'll just copy this. We're going to hide this. We're going to go to the height here. I'll click on a stopwatch to create an expression. We're going to paste it in here and we're going to extend it. And we're going to change width to height. And then for the target scale, we want the second item. So we're going to say item one. Remember, zero, one. So that's the height. We are in the height property. So we want the second item, which is index one. All right. So now when I click away, everything adjusted, I can select the text layer, I can adjust the size of it, and it's definitely working like a charm.